Brazil is the biggest country in South America, occupying about half of the continent. It's almost entirely in the southern hemisphere, and much of it is tropical. With large swaths of jungle teeming with rare flora and animals, Brazil's Atlantic coast, which stretches 7,400 kilometers, is studded with gold sand beaches, while its interior is rich in mineral resources. In today's video, let's explore the best places to visit in Brazil. Number 10. Ouro Preto The opulence of Brazil's state of Minas Gerais in its colonial glory days is easy to envision from the interiors of the cathedrals in Ouro Preto, the state's former capital. Gold and diamonds flowed from the mines around the city throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, adorning whole walls. Ouro Preto is a treasure of a colonial town, cascading down the sides of a steep valley and surrounded by mountains. But its steep, narrow alleyways and mountain backdrop, although appealing to tourists today, didn't suit the demands of a rising provincial capital. The government relocated to Belo Horizonte, the freshly built capital, leaving Oro Preto in a time capsule. Number 9. Salvador Pelorino The Cidade Alta, upper town, of Brazil's old colonial capital, has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its extraordinary collection of 17th and 18th century colonial structures, which is the best of its kind in South America. This medieval area, known as Pelorino, is home to Salvador's most spectacular churches and monasteries, which were erected during a time when Brazil was the source of Portugal's wealth, and the abundant gold was poured on the colony's religious structures. So Francisco erected in the early 1700s and decorated with beautiful gold-covered structures is the city's finest and most sumptuous church. Excellent examples of Portuguese tile panels, known as azulejos, may be seen in the choir and cloister. Number 8. Brasilia Brasilia, Brazil's new capital, was cut out of the jungle and constructed in less than three years to take the place of Rio de Janeiro in 1960. Lucio Costa and Oscar Niemeyer's ambitious proposal became a showcase of city planning and avant-garde architecture, and it is still one of the world's few cities that represents a full plan and a single architectural idea today. Number 7. Amazon Rainforests The black Rio Negro waters meet the light muddy water of the Rio Solimes, around 20 kilometers southeast of Manaus, running side by side for about 6 kilometers before combining as the Amazon. This site, known as Encontro das Aguas, is reached by boat from Manaus. Other boat tours take you into the heart of the rainforests as well as the three rivers, network of rivers, channels, and lakes. The Anavalanas Islands, located in the Rio Negro, are an archipelago of lakes, streams, and flooded woods that provide a complete picture of the Amazonian ecology. Number 6. Ipanema the glorious white sands of Copacabana meet with the equally famed beaches of Ipanema beyond the Copacabana beaches. The same wave patterns that separates the beaches from the line of hotels, restaurants, cafes, and art galleries and theaters that make this a popular social zone all year continues here. The beaches of Leblon are further down past the Jardim de la Canal which drains the Lagoa Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon. These beaches are popular with families, since there are few visitors and more residents. On Sundays, 
there's an antiques market at Praca di Quentaland and the Frera di Artesanato di Impanima, which is bustling with music, art, handcrafts, and street food. Number five, Carnaval. Although it is not a place, but we have to talk about the Carnaval. We're talking about Brazil. Few spectacles have the color, music, movement, and enthusiasm of Rio's pre-Lenten Carnaval, or Carnival. Make no mistake, this isn't just another noisy street celebration. It's a meticulously orchestrated showcase in which viewers may witness parades of competing samba dancers from a specially erected stadium created by none other than Oscar Niemeyer, Brazil's most famous architect. Number 4. Copacabana, the most fashionable and well-known area of Rio's downtown, is Avenida Nosa, Senhora de Copacabana, which is flanked on one side by four kilometers of white beach and crashing waves. A large promenade laid in black and white mosaic in an undulating pattern evocative of streets in Lisbon, Portugal, separates the beach from the buildings and traffic. It's not only for show at the beach. When the weather is nice, it's also a popular playground with sunbathers, swimmers, and youngsters making sandcastles in the beach. Restaurants, sophisticated stores, cafes, and stunning historic structures from the days when Rio was Brazil's capital can be found on the streets here. Number 3. Iguazu Falls The Iguazu River, which flows through Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina, cascades majestically in a semicircle of 247 waterfalls into the abyss below. The river is narrowed to one-fourth of its normal width just above the falls, amplifying the power of the water. Some of the falls are almost 100 meters high, and they span such a large area that you'll never see them all at once, although the Brazilian side offers the best view. Different vistas are provided by catwalks and a tower, and one bridge extends all the way to one of the largest, known as Garganta do Diabo. Number 2. Sugarloaf The rounded granite summit of Sugarloaf just out of a tree-covered peninsula, towering 394 meters above the beach and city, and is a well-known symbol of Rio de Janeiro. Tourists go to the top of vistas of Rio de Janeiro and the bay as well as the excitement of riding suspended in a cable car between Sugarloaf and the Moro da Urca, a lower mountain from which a second cableway links to the city. Number 1. Cristo Redentor and Corcovado, the huge Art Deco statue of Christ, known as Cristo Redentor, Christ the Redeemer, gases out over Rio de Janeiro and the bay from the peak of Corcovado, with arms spread 28 meters, as if to include all of mankind. It rises at a height of 709 meters in Tijuca National Park, and a 3.5 kilometer rack train climbs to the summit, where a large plaza surrounds the monument. The 30 meter monument, built of reinforced concrete and soapstone, was completed in 1931 by Polish-French sculptor Paul Landowski and Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa. The chapel, which is popular for weddings, is enclosed within the 8-meter foundation. Although it is one of Brazil's most well-known symbols, it is sometimes wrongly referred to as the Christ of the Andes, as opposed to the earlier monument that marks the border between Argentina and Chile. For visitors, 
Brazil is both a tropical paradise and a vibrant cultural destination, offering something for everyone, from beautiful beach vacations and rainforest expeditions to world-class art museums and the throbbing rhythms of Rio's carnival. Give a like to this video and let us know in the comments which place you found the most interesting. Press the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.